Well, hello, this is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. This is my first video report for the new year. Well, I thought, what better way to do it than to launch into it with a spaceship? It's appropriate, I think, that in my first multimedia report for 2010, I recreate the iconic rotating spaceship from 2001, A Space Odyssey, one of my favorite science fiction movies. I'll do it in a CAD program, which happens to be SolarWorks 2010. When I studied the photographs and illustrations, I thought, well, this ought to be fairly easy. Essentially, it's two cartwheels linked by a central bridge. I quickly found out this back potion would be my biggest challenge. See, it's not exactly a typical donut ring like the front wheel. It's made up of steel frames, partially exposed, and partially skinned in metal. This gave me a chance to try out SolidWorks function for building patterns along a curve. What I did was create a single steel frame by extruding a six-sided polygon. Then I asked SolidWorks to create a whole series of those but stack them along the edge of this ring. I now have a preview, so I simply needed to adjust the density of the placement of these rings or specify a specific number, then hit OK. I now have my basic structural steel frame for the back wheel. To cover portions of this frame in metal plates, I picked a profile, then sweep it along a short segment of an arc like this. Once I repeated this process four times, I have essentially what looks like the back wheel of the spaceship that I see in the movie poster. Bear in mind, however, I'm not creating something to be built or manufactured. I just wanted something that looks right. So I can get away with a lot of things most designers won't permit. Like, for instance, having overlapping solid bodies clashing against each other. I also wanted to create little ridges that look like letters along the arms of the wheel. So once again, I resorted to patterning. I created this base ring then use the linear patterning function to create a stack of them spaced apart the way I like it. When I look at the front wheel in the photograph, it shows what looks like a series of window. So I decided to imitate that too. First, I cut three little square holes into the solid wheels. Then I use SolidWorks circular pattern feature to repeat the same holes on the rest of the wheel. That gives me now a series of windows. So what is this little pointless cylinder sticking out of the shuttle bay, you ask? Well, I know that when I rendered the model, I needed the shuttle bay to be glowing as if it's illuminated from within. That's why I needed that object to serve as my light. Now, I assign yellow neon light from the software's material library to this block. In fact, I also wanted my windows to glow too, like the shuttle bay, so I applied the same material to this feature specifically. That way, I can be sure that when I render the model with lots of shadows and darkness in the background, I'll see the glowing windows and the shuttle bay. I think that's pretty much how I, or you if you choose to, might build a spaceship like the one that you have seen in 2001 A Space Odyssey. If you'd like to inspect my model or improve on it, you'll find it posted to 3dcontentcentral.com. You'll find a link to the downloadable SOLIDWORKS model from my blog, accessible from Desktop Engineering's homepage. 2009 has been a difficult year for many of us. But it's behind us now. I believe many great things are about to come for you, for me, for all of us. So till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering, flying into the new year in his brand spanking new spaceship, 2010, A Space Odyssey.